<laughs> there we go. Give it a second there. All right, everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with so tonight, since Fierce. later. <laughs> along with fears of might, Lieutenant Drakeel, at your service. Along with and, my axe. <laughs> and welcome back to uh, the Hippity Hoppity SMP. This should be our third official stream of this. Or in, outside of the starter one, property. I think. And uh, yeah, I've been uh, busy outside. Uh, currently, I have the uh, flight effect on me because I set up uh, this over here, a ritual of flight, which is being fed by, uh, well, this. <laughs> Honestly, putting a, putting a source jar over an active ritual uh, brazier like that looks pretty cool, if you ask me. <clears throat> okay, yeah. um, let's see. Anything different since last time? Uh, well, first of all, I've uh, completely excavated the entire damn island around here, down to the uh, sea level, or water level, whatever you would call it. I was originally thinking of going it, putting it out to this size, but that would basic, basically, I would have to go like um, <clears throat> it would just go in a diagonal line from around here all the way down, making this thing look less like no. <laughs> Even now, it looks not as much as a tower as I'd want to, but it would have made it look more like a, a mini nuke or a missile or something. And this is mostly here for for uh, visitors. I was saying this. It definitely looks like a, a very thick tower. However, I'm sorry to say this, Alien, but you have become screwed for duck. <laughs> Just replace the gold with the books of Arcane uh, Lower. Yeah. And yeah, I was basically putting these here to add a bit of more detailing to the side of this thing. But uh, yeah, it is still rather bland like this. So at one point in the future, I will change this up some. For once, I'll also put in all the staircases and such in, the <clears throat> in between the flanks of the tower. And I'll add some more color to it with like a... <clears throat> archwood logs and such to actually have it look like the trees are growing through the tower and such like over here i'll have it extend out and have just a ring growing around them on each level and then just connect them and have that run all the way down to the side down the sides or at least that's what i plan um, to do that will take quite a bit of work <clears throat> maybe even have a tree crown at the top I could uh yeah beyond that nothing too much has changed i'd say uh i've gotten more resources gotten more stuff done my occultism oh, demon God. or whatever they you would call them has uh their timer ran out so they are gone i could go summon a bigger one and yeah one of the reasons i was thinking about going for this size first was well all of this down here which this is where I wanted to put all the occultism rituals or ritual sites at least, but uh, yeah, that's not going to fit underneath the uh, tower like this. So unless I just cover this up with uh, <clears throat> with slabs, which I think is going to look a bit odd, and even at that, it would leave a bit of a low ceiling. So I probably will move these down lower eventually. Um, I'm still surprised you removed the entire hill, Captain Hill. <laughs> yeah, but more that... like flattened an entire small island. That had a weird set. You flattened an entire island, uh, flattened an entire hill, Captain Hill. <laughs> um, you hear yourself that sentence. Yeah. Uh, over here, I was just trying to see how these turntables work i'm pretty sure they yeah since it has a power at the top or power reading at the top they need redstone to work i presume so let me just quickly grab a bit of dust and a stick oh, and we can make a redstone torch i actually did something similar today oh. as i was putting the new ashland update i stored the menu map yesterday and i had this map that had a little bit of frame lag so I stopped. So I started to play again today. No frame lag at all. However, 
the island I was on was small and not connected to any other island, except if I used a raft. Okay. And no <laughs> so you area were stuck was... in nowhere. Yeah, and worst of all, no... They had all the good spot, spots for a small starter base. So I just felt like, nope. So I started a new one and then later that one. And next one was better. And starter island was still small, but I could at least swim to the next one. And the one yeah. I swam to had two good spots and I picked one. And I did a big circle wall, had to redo it a few times. I need to print it up and I... To my surprise, I decided, you know what? Let's try to see how well they have fixed up the terraforming. And I filled up basically almost the entire center. It was almost shaped like a bowl for a while. Okay. It, I basically want to put these things out as a sort of advertisement for the magical <laughs> gear. And well, <laughs> it would just look better if they turned. Oh, dear gods. Um, oh, gods. You have given me a lot of mental images now, uh, in already this early on. <laughs> okay, I would need to hide just a big length of redstone because I don't want it to spin too fast. Uh, like what, this. what are you going to call your clothing brand? <laughs> Uh, they they're already called enchant or stuff, and anyways, um, hmm. as these, uh, I'm not sure if I pointed this out before, but these Enderman heads, when you look at them, they activate and give off a redstone signal. Ah, oh, there you go. Now, now my microwave is already what I was doing. Okay. Um, let's see. I've also put in. A staircase for the people who can't fly. Not that it will matter too much since this is now here. And well, with all of the source production we have up here, that's basically going to be active infinitely. So anyone who visits or at least comes in through the portal here, uh, they'll be able to just fly all around. Also, I installed a... Uh, the mount pack has been updated. Uh, two new mods were added. Caged mobs and another one, mostly to prevent server lag from having too many animals around uh, for Pika and such, because, well, they will need to actively breed animals and such. And I can leave these alone as is. The production is already fast enough with everything like this. <laughs> what are these three rabbit's feet? Okay. I probably should put in something to just spread all of that out more. Uh, let me actually see. Do I have spare repositories? I'm presuming if uh, I just put more of those next to them, they will put it into there as well. I think it's on an idea. Uh, question is, what did I do with all of this? Do I just chuck it? Sell it? Um, if if it's me, then sell it. I say to Pika. Hmm. But why? What was that? I read something demonic. Did you say demonic knife or wife? Uh, let's see. Some demonic wife. <laughs> of calling. What? Oh. And the okay. other one, demonic Demo husband. Okay, we we need to look into that. Okay, the hell is that about? Uh, we, we could take a look in... We could take more of a look into occultism with this stream. Uh, oh, let's see. Spirits. Da, 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 spirits. Commonly referred to as demon. Da, 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 da. Polio, the lowest identified class of spirits. And the term Marid, strongest identified. And then there's greater spirits. Uh, spirits of power so great it is beyond measure. No summons have been attempted in living memory and records and records of summonings in ancient times are mostly considered apo... I have no idea how to say that, nor what it means. Uh, let's see. Essence decay. While resigning in our plane of existence, spirits experience essence decay, slow rot of their quote-unquote body. The more powerful the spirit, the slower the decay, but only the most powerful can stop it entirely. Once fully decayed, they are returned to the other place and can only be resummoned once fully recovered. 
Uh, the summoner can slow or even stop essence decay by binding their spirit into an object or summoning it into a living being. Additionally, the pentacle can uh, the pentacle used can influence the effects of essence decay to a degree. Okay. Only tier one spirits are affected by essence decay by default. All higher tiers are immune and will not despawn. Okay. But what counts as tier one then? Is that only the uh, foliots? Hmm. Okay, true names. Uh, it should be noted that it's not matter which spirit name is used in summoning, only the relevant spirit tier is relevant. Okay. Mm hmm. But yeah, for your convenience. Okay. <laughs> All four ranks, as well as some beyond that. Summon the spirit, copy their name from this book. Yeah, the, 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 we just need to combine this book with uh, an unbound uh, book to, well, put a true name on it. Oop, unbound spirits. Try not to lose your spirits. Okay. Are summon bound, which refers to any condition that keeps them under control of a summoner. The side effect of vending spells is part of the spirit realm in the other place. Uh, rubbing them of large portions of power. Okay. Mm -hmm. In order to access a spirit's essence or unleash its full destructive power, it needs to be summoned unbound. Unbound summonings use pentacles that are intentionally incomplete or unstable, allowing to call on the spirit but not putting any constraints on it. Okay, that's uh, yeah, that sounds dangerous. The lack of restraints when summoning spirits unbound makes these rituals incredibly dangerous, but you may find that the rewards are worth the risk, and often there is no way around them to achieve certain results. Unbound summonings are the only way to obtain a frit essence, a powerful substance required for crafting red chalk, which is used for the most powerful pentacle, uh, the, the most powerful binding pentacles. Okay, so we need to get like <laughs> Darkwing Duck and get dangerous with it, huh? <laughs> of course, it's a natural answer. What was the title of the damn thing? Uh, let me quickly first there heal. Yeah, uh, let's see the. The harmless advocate, I think it said. Oop. Kill an advocate, really. The harmless advocate, I think it said. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's continue on with this. The wild hunger. Okay. A group of legendary greater spirits usually formed, uh, appearing in the form of widow skeletons with their skeleton minions. The greater spirits are bound to their minions in such fashion that they are virtually invulnerable until their minions have been sent back to the other place, aka killed. While it is incredibly dangerous to call on the wild hunt, some summoners have been known to do so for quick access to the rare widow skeleton skulls they are known to leave behind. Something the wild hunt is described in detail. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we have magic storage, rituals, where was that? I'm just still... <laughs> I'm just still in intrigued with what the hell that uh, whole demon husband slash wife stuff was about. So is that something here or so? It says Hoglin, Warden, Elder Guardian, Phantom. Okay, these are possessions, not summoning demons. Binding rituals. Storage stabilizer. Hmm. I might need to look into all of this if it might work better than the uh, repositories from Ars Nouveau. Familiar Ring, Marid Miners, okay. Still not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Summoning, Possession, Binding, okay. Okay, I'm not seeing where the hell any of where either of those are then it doesn't seem like there there's areas that still need to be explored with this except on the storage here it is, is it going to be part of this for some reason let me just quickly 
look through, stable wormhole. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, that's for remote access to your storage. Uh, expanding storage. Genie machine operator. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, Office calling. Yeah, that was the same ritual, I believe. Wasn't yeah, so might be part of this. Hmm. Developed by Ofix during the third era, the calling is the go-to pentacle for genie summonings ever since. Uh, skeleton skulls and purple chalk provide the calling power required to force genie in appearance, yeah, into appearance, and candles stabilize the ritual. Time magic. Okay. Time magic is limited in scope. It cannot send the magician back or forth in time, but rather allow it to change time. Uh, it change time of day. That's double. Uh, especially useful for rituals or other tasks requiring day. Or, okay. So dawn and dusk spirits. Hmm. Fate spirits. Pick up. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm just... <laughs> okay. We'd probably have to just look a hell of a lot more to try and find whatever the hell is up with that demon wife and such stuff. Yeah, we, uh... we, we know how to summon them and make them. But we don't know... Someone said they wanted the wife to support you. Fight for you, help for you cooking. And... <laughs> and... Uh, hmm. I'm just still just confused as to why it's called that and why it doesn't appear to be in the freaking book. Let's see. Uh, mark all of those as on red. Hmm. Oh, wait, here's something. Oh, spirit miners. That's just, yeah, mining stuff. Uh, let's see. Since I was interested in that, because apparently the technological mining stuff isn't really as useful at the moment, or at least the uh, automatic ones. Not talking about making, like, drills and such with Create. Um... Yeah, but yes, they want to borrow your uh, arcane drill. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, th I think for the moment... We are just going to move all of the this access meat over to uh, <laughs> over to their place. Let me yes. Hmm. Gonna pray doesn't rot. Uh, rotting isn't a thing in uh, Minecraft without a specific mod for it, I presume. Um, it's going to stack stick all the rest of the stuff. In here for a moment. <clears throat> okay, just empty out as much as need, yeah, as, yeah, as much as can. Yeah, had this been a single player, I would say just turn them into sandwiches, but we are not a single player, so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, Animal Farm. Uh, so, I think I know a good idea what we could use all the rabbit feet for. Oh. A necklace. We can Don't make we... plushies with them. Uh, wait, what? Yes. And they plushies. can be used for potions. Thank you for that mental image. Entire plushie made of rabbit feet. <laughs> cursed? That sounds cursed, doesn't it? Yeah. That sounds like a freaking SCP. Yeah. And here I was thinking, just make a necklace of it, and then you're extremely lucky. Okay. Um, so, an entire necklace of uh, rabbit feet is still. Uh, yeah. What the? Okay, I think I know how these ended up here. Okay, it seems that the stronghold, ha not the stronghold, the guild hall has received a bit more work. But also been compromised. Okay. I think I... they need some security. Yeah, I, I think I know how those got here, so let's head over to Vanus and just 
build something around this. A trap door. Put that damn trap door. I told you this last time. Obviously, most we get through if they just fall into the damn hole. Yeah, but did you listen to the uh, lieutenant? No. Wait, needs amplifying, otherwise they will vanish. Oh, sounded so bratty, sorry. <laughs> okay, um, flight ritual has worked its way out. But, but, but why are you making... You could just put a trap door on it. That, yeah, that works as well. <laughs> I told you, you, I told you, as we spotted that, just put a trap door on it. There. Okay. Just need to get a bit of good, need to not fall into it for one. There we are. Right. First, let me just drop off. Okay, you don't even need to really fall through it, you just need to walk over it. Uh, first, over here to just drop up and drop off all this freaking meat. Uh, really? The little light, the little mailbox. A, oh, sounds good. like something is burning. <laughs> Yeah, don't let me put this away so I don't accidentally break something, but something sounds to be burning. And uh, yeah, it's just... it's all the ovens. Probably. Okay. This is where they put those repositories that I brought them. Aren't you totally breaking in? And the door's not locked. It... Okay, what's making that noise? Yeah, I think it is the ovens. Or... Hmm. Okay. I'm getting too used to the flight tablet effect being on me with all the building. There, there, uh, Captain. There, there. Uh, may as well just dump the rest somewhere. Okay, this seems to be mostly... Oop. Now I'll st I'll stash it separately, just not just screw with there. Just put it in a box outside the house. Yeah, but I'll first need to get some wood for that. Uh, not leaving, yeah, leaving those alone. Okay, uh, there. And I just need the fell spell there. Okay, that's modded leaves, so those are not affected by the, the felling spell. Okay. Yeah, it says block. Yeah, right, because it, I put it right back to that. Crafts. Create. Okay. And just... There. Okay. One pine chest for them and a bunch of meat just for storage. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's being powered by this from mechanism. Of oh, course, it was a trap. Uh, Just put it next to the ma mailbox. It's a delivery after all. There. Oh, you may as well throw that out, cooking it. Uh, yep. Don't you need that to make a trap door? I just need one. So. There. Pick the six one. Ah. And there we go. Okay. This is where I put the portal for them to return here. Maybe I should put something over that to cover it as well, but oh well. Maximilian uh, Light. There. Okay, now you won't fall through anymore. <laughs> yeah, and people just need to remember to open it and pray. Wait, can you still get through it from the other side? Now the other side is just a different portal that leads to a different area. We've been spawning in front of the door, not from that portal. Okay, so it doesn't have that, uh, like what happens in Stargate. Nope. 
you just suddenly hear yeah. someone ramming the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seems that we do have a visitor of some kind. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's take a bit more of a look into all of this then. Let's see. This is Miam stuff. For that, we need to go to the Nether. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Can we use the te mine tier two otherworld materials such as isnium ore, as is made of metal instead of brittle spirit attuned gem? It's very durable and can be used. Okay, but for that we need to find the metal first, which you can only well find in the Nether. We could go hunt for that. With I've got this thing for that, as well as this, the otherworld goggles. I can put the trap door away for the moment. Have that be sorted, and yeah, I've I've been upgrading a few a few more of my backpacks to diamonds, but I probably should do a few more because as you well as is more than obvious, this is this just needs to be sorted out sooner or later. Yeah, what do we captain? Do you ever find out if someone had messed with the organizer in the back? No, so. Yeah, I'm going to presume some spell or AoE effects or just something went wrong. So weren't you supposed to be purple instead of pink? Okay. Yeah, pink were always like that. Oh, are you all right, let me, Captain? <clears throat> let me just double check something. I should have some purple dye somewhere or can just make some. There... Uh, no need to use the last of the flowers from that. There. Okay, there and there. And those together. Make purple dye. Hmm. Okay, so it is supposed to look more pinkish than purple. Okay. Whilst I'm here, purple for all of them. <laughs> Uh, let's see. This one I'm using to store all the rocks at the moment. May as well put these in there as well. And this one can be your valuables. And then I just have a bunch of backup bags as well. Okay. All right. Can't really think Somewhere of much right. else to add. Where was that adventure? Mm. Also, I just actually had a funny meta image earlier. Says so. you're talking about uh, integrating uh, trees into this building. What then? I, I meant to imagine you, you just figure your head out through the window and shouting at a bird at the nearby uh, birdhouse. Hey, Greg, my birdhouse is bigger than yours. Okay, but when I put on these other world goggles, it lets you. It gives the uh, third eye effect, even though it doesn't show at the moment. Uh, with this, we can see and mine, uh, well, other world materials, oh, which dear. otherwise could not be harvested and such. Oh dear. Okay. Also, I hope I wasn't too loud earlier. Uh, not to my ears, at least. But yeah, let's head over to the Nether then. And yeah, we probably should just break up a bunch of these places so random mobs can't just wander through the portals. Yeah, like doors? And yeah. The divining rods can be used to find specific uh, items by attuning them to things that you... And when you are in range of them, they get outlined. Now, you would think... Yeah, it also still outlines the ones you've already gathered, though, for some reason. So, yeah, that's still um, showing up. Maybe if I stick a bit of dirt in there, it'll reset or something. That's not a divining rod. Hmm? It's a divination rod. Yeah, <laughs> close enough. Actually, I know what I can put in that last bit there. If we're going to need to mine around a lot... I can put the Enchanter's Wands down here. 
and maybe this one as well, just to see stuff that's ahead. Yeah, this wand is set to uh, mine of areas of five by five. Uh oh. So yeah. Thank you. Uh, are they about bananas? I actually learned uh, yesterday about a very interesting uh, type of banana I did not know about. Okay. It's very big. I think it was. I forgot its its actual name, but it has an alternative name. I think it was Maya Hawaiian banana. And um, uh, how to describe the damn thing? Okay. Uh, okay, you, you know what? Look at your far uh, look uh, shin, and you heard about the uh, thickness of that banana. Okay. And apparently, it's it's pink on the inside and mushy. Okay. Then again, I think bananas originally were purple or something. Yeah, but this one is this one was yellow and black on the outside and the, and the peeling thing, but the inside, but you know, but bananas usually are a bit more whitish, yellowish. The one is, is apparently pink and mushy. Okay. Hmm. I just hearing us maybe go. What the heck? And of course, uh, the YouTuber tried to appeal the resistor trying to make uh, in windows from the entire thing. Yeah, of course. But they, they were were not able to do one. it, uh, the mother red. As I realized, no, you can't really do in windows the, the, the way they thought they could do. So this is a different keyboard of one that we were already near uh, nearby. Hmm. Also, I should probably... Yeah, we've been here before. I... Did I put up a... Oop. I want to kill you for the backpack. Give me the backpack. With more of them. And blazes. Okay, at least my backpack full of food is keeping me healthy. Okay, no new backpack. Oh well. And yeah, most of the backpacks that I have, I've just gotten as loot. Uh, Chancellor for Red Device has okay. awoken me by. Hmm. Okay. Yep, apparently there's a nightmare nearby, according to the map. Yeah, you, you, wait, did you see Nightmare earlier? Yeah, there was, there was a one with a blue flame main. Okay. Yeah, I, I probably should have put up waypoints a lot more just to, well, avoid accidentally getting lost and such. Let's see. Yeah, Crimson there. Forest, Nether Wastes, Bessel Deltas. Yeah, probably best that we have this way when we're digging, since the ore that we're looking for can only be found in Nether Stone or Nether Rack. Do you feel like so, Nether Rack is a typo? How so? I think I, I, think I heard some, uh, some random micro video that they mentioned that Nether Rack is a typo. It's supposed to be Nether Rock. It could be that it started as such and just came as, became assimilated. Yeah, for I forgot it was a case of they they weren't able to fix that or they just never bothered to fix that. Or they just rolled with it. But yeah, the, the thing with this is that the more purple the the more full the purple that the gem is of purple, the closer we are to uh <clears throat> to what we're looking for with it. It doesn't work with a lot of things. Only a few uh, <clears throat> only a few stuff from uh <clears throat> from uh, occultism and such oh, so let me let this fi thing filter on a few more things here I upgraded the magnet just for the extra sp uh, space here on stuff for it to automatically pick up and even then our inventory fills up pretty quickly uh, da -da -da, all of that well, you're a pirate. Uh, oh, wait. It, it did drop a backpack 
Uh, anything in it? Right. No. Okay. Uh, but yeah, let's continue on. I don't know how rare the uh, ore is we're looking for. Hello, Agent Debris. We need two amplifiers to break these. Or actually, only one. Because it's diamond level. There and there. You can use that for netherite. Well, yeah. Okay. I've never actually Good made stuff. netherite armor, I think. Well, here's a, a good thing you may like about netherite. It doesn't burn. Yeah, it's immune to lava. Yep. Or uh, the armor is, but not yourself. <laughs> yeah, so that is a throw... minor drawback. A, oh, ne nether bat. For that, I do yeah. have the ring here. Yeah, lucky enough. But yeah, if you were to accidentally drop a ingot of the nether, or an armor set of the netherite, into lava, it is just gonna float. Yeah. Petty. Okay. Petty? Wait, is that a. Is it a hmm. reference to. Is either gonna be Freddy Fazbear or Freddy Krueger? I, I doubt it. it, it uh, these, most of these names are just randomly generated and all. Okay. Yeah, I saw the mob, and I'm pretty disappointed. Okay. The fact that it's filled a little tiny bit, just I think that just tells that the ore exists in this dimension, and we're just being unlucky with not finding any. There. I think from a previous uh, mod pack, we learned that those can be tamed. Oh, yeah. Uh, I learned that uh, from a video. But uh, you're not allowed to tame them. Also, let's take this thing off. The only thing it's really doing at the moment is making everything pink. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, oh. No, these things. There was, yeah. a, there was a drop there, right? Yep. yep. Uh, we got a drop you, on it. Here's a thing, Hill. It's part of Australian folklore. Yeah. Oh, hello. And yes, people, that means it's a giant killer koala. <laughs> there. Okay, we found an entirely new fortress. Okay, that means that all the loot here should be untouched. Oh, and that's a nightmare. And that's... Okay, that's one of the gatehouses. So, what? Tourist? Explore all nether biomes. Okay. What? Uh, I'm getting a call. Uh, I'm not parking anywhere in the nether here. Uh, at least not without covering. So, give me a sec on this so I can see what I'm getting called about. There. Okay, looks like there's some sort of issue with the Wi-Fi in the house or something. And that it looks like only the wired computers have connection at the moment. But beyond that, just the local Wi-Fi is completely out. So may need to may need to interrupt the stream to try and get all of that fixed. Uh, demonize. Okay, but yeah. Uh, let me just go look. And, yeah, probably have to not really end the stream, but more just put a break in it. And, yeah, be right, be right back. Uh, all right. So, uh, 
So yeah, let's see if we can fix that as quickly as possible. Let's see. Okay, hopefully things are going to fix now. Uh, on my phone here, I'm still seeing that the Wi-Fi connection is down or something. It might and be for the area. If it was not, it, it's the house Wi-Fi. If the if internet oh. for the entire area was down, we would not be speaking. So yeah, let me, let me make a note to just cut that bit out. And yeah, of course, because internet connection was lost, I also got up out of that. <laughs> yeah, hello there. PRM3 uh, underscore Antonio just followed. Hello, Prime Antonio. Thank you for the follow and <laughs> hope you'll enjoy the show. Uh, hello, um. <laughs> You're joining on a bit of an awkward moment because apparently the house Wi-Fi is out with only the yeah the computers with an actual landline connection to the router having internet. And yeah, we just reset it to try and fix it. For the computers, it works still, as is obvious, but with the phones and the Wi-Fi, it seems to still be down. Maybe if I turn it off and on on the receptor here, or that's... Annoyingly often, annoyingly often, actually works. But uh, yeah, how are you doing, Antonio? <laughs> well, I hope. <clears throat> and yeah, over here is my co-host uh, Drakir. Just for clarification, Hello. I think at some point I probably should just put up another sign with that. Or but though, hmm, yeah, uh, up to you. Let's see, doing good. I'm not okay. A sign. Could I always have a bit of a name tag with me yes. or something? But just uh, just something pinned on your chest. The uh, hi, my name is Drakir. Pinned it into my scales. That'd be painful. <laughs> but yeah, something like that. Did I, did I? I messed up the click. Otherwise, a uh, sign one works too. There. Uh, they are create. Okay, now we can Actually, see clearly. I just have... You could just put a shield with the Drakir on it uh, and put it on my other arm. Good, yeah. And Okay. These are hostile, very obviously, but <laughs> they'll attack. I think I saw them attack a, a skeleton just earlier, or just a bit before. Oh, and that's a blaze spawner. Uh... Let me see. I want. Oop. I want you off my ass first. Uh, yeah. I, I've gotten a lot of these already. Or a lot of spawners already, but not a blaze one. Where's pickup? There's pickup. I really should make a few more spell books just for utility stuff and such. Okay. Yeah, a combat book, utility book. Uh, uh, yeah, blaze book for, uh, yeah, basically books for a specific uh, theme, I guess you could yeah. say. Mm, may as well grab this one as well. But yeah, uh, <clears throat> uh, welcome to the uh, Hippity Hoppity mod pack, as it's called. One A custom one made uh, by a friend of mine. Uh, and yeah, basically what we're doing, what we do with this SMP, is everyone has their own uh, wheelhouse of mods or category of mods, like magic, tech, food, animals, and such. And people have to mostly stick to their own with that. And yeah, if they want, if they want like, for my stuff is magical. If I'd want some uh, machines and such for some reason or another, I would have to ask the machinists to uh, help me make those. No, another blaze instruction manual. Okay. Need to keep that uh, in my inventory. Is it Ricky, uh, right? I think slash hope so. Yeah, but, but let's mark that out for double checking. Uh, okay, let me see. 50. Okay. I'm pretty sure I said Ricky, but I'd rather, rather uh, double check since I'm used to see uh, Drakir in the intro. But not out of it. Dude. Yeah. 
And that's a gas I'm hearing. Okay. Luckily, explo gas explosions shouldn't cause any damage. But still, better to be sure. Right. Quickly grab this one as well. Can probably sell these to someone. I'm a bit surprised none of those fireballs actually hit me there. There. So let's put them in the offhand. Okay, why did... Why did that swap out my sword with one of the backpacks? Okay. Ghost or... There we go. Else. Get rid of you. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, we have all of this here. And to loot, explore, and whatever else we want to do with all of this. Technically speaking, I could destroy this door, or at least the create parts of it that allow it to move like that. But yeah, I'd rather have a sense I put up anything like that if I were to go for it. I think we should have a gate like that at your castle, the tower. I mean, tower. Uh, we could make a courtyard around it that would need a gate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fire damage gem. Okay. Uh, but you do have the space to make a courtyard. Yeah. And probably should have a courtyard. Still not finding any of the stupid metal. I'll have to know. check if they... I'll have to... Don't be rude. I'll have to check with Sensei and uh, Chaz Court to see if it actually spawns correctly or not. Don't go the end. If you only know that uh, the metal may be very intelligent, or you know. <laughs> I doubt that. Okay, for now though, we can just continue looting around here, see what we can find. Anything useful, perhaps. Or otherwise we can just get experience from killing a bunch of these idiots. Chests? So... Hello, chests. Nope. Did not mean to hit them, but oh well. It's not like they can hurt me too much with, well, good armor that I have. Heart? Hmm? You said heart. H R A T. <laughs> you, you were a bit old English there. I mean, then it, that would be wrong word to use. I think. That... Wait, ain't heart a yeah, deal? Fireplace. Uh, heart. H R A T. Not yeah. half. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Now, now we're just confusing each other. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's something interesting. Of it. I think we should find some, something elven. Uh, let's see. Looting two, I'll take that. I can get the enchantment off of it, maybe. Also, I, I'm i not sure if it's done by a mod or such, but it has, or just in the base game, but attacking... Uh, <clears throat> Attacking the pig man doesn't seem, yeah, doesn't, uh, okay, doesn't aggro every single one of them in the entire nether anymore, it seems. Fire protection. This okay. is good. I'll sort all of this out later. I think you found an elven trident. Could be. Oop, that's blue, so worth it. If at least for the materials. You ignore the gunpowder powder? Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got at least two stacks of that, so I think I'm good with it. Are you a pirate? Oh, diamond. Oh, hello. Three damage to nearby enemies. Two sockets, and it has cold damage. Okay. And it has hello. more rage than normal. Okay. We could make it into an actual uh, combat sword compared to this one, which is mostly just our looting sword at the moment. 
a okay. longer reach. It, it kind of fit to consider what the heck you're wielding. Uh, I think you may want to show off for the audience what the heck you're wielding. Yeah, that is only just a skin that's applied over things, though. Because if I pull that away, it is just, well, the, <laughs> practically a fairy sword or whatever you would call that. It's more like a dual key. Yes, I know the Keyblade from uh, Kingdom Hearts. There probably is a skin of that uh, hidden away somewhere. I'll take that. Most likely. Another one. Oop, Lifesteal. Okay. Hmm. We can them sort of the Spellcaster. Hmm. Okay. What, you Another... are a Spellcaster. True. Yeah. But these... Uh, cooldown reduction and spell power, those are for Iron's uh, spells, I believe. Uh, I don't think there's any of those that affect <clears throat> Ars Nouveau spells. So I probably should go look into that as more as well. Actually, sorry, some of the other uh, mounts can also have armor. question is, is the horse armor they use? Or do they need to have the, their own special armor made? Good question, yeah. We'll have to ask Tatum about that. Yeah, for if it just in if it if they all can use the horse armor, then yeah, just save all the horse armor you can find. Yeah. There. Otherwise you may have to ask the local uh, Smith to yep. craft them for you. Uh, they're more or... for weapons and such than the uh, armors but like that, but we can oh, oh. A, a purple value stone sword, really? Okay. Must be some quality stone. A, what was it? Quick minded stone sword of the sun? Uh, yeah. Gain ancient knowledge for eight seconds, whatever that would do. Deals five damage to nearby enemies, two sockets, and 27% durability damage ignored. Skelet tied the dirt digger. What? Okay. What? Throw this away. Okay. Is a good sword or is is good for stone sword? If you get what I mean. Yeah, but having the, that on iron or diamond would be highly preferred. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you if you want to have stone sword, you find that easy switch. I'm just, I'm just grabbing anything that has a, yeah, an affix in a change or an enchantment on it. Because they can at least oh, be broken down uh, to make other uh, stuff. Like that. Both of those. Yeah, I probably should try to set up like a pipeline with Vanna where I just yeah, you know, I just send most of the stuff that I can't or I can't use or have no use for, and they get to keep like uh, half, twenty-five percent of the materials gained from that or something. Would have to see. You mean uh, make a contract or something? Yeah. A deal. Hmm. I guess people pirates did a lot of contracts. Okay, for now though, let's see what we can find Ooh. down here. This is some nice fire. And it's uh, soul fire from uh, setting soul sand on, well, on fire. Yeah, but it's still nice. I almost forgot how nice it looked. I guess we could use it uh, uh, in the base as well, in some areas. True. Ensnaring trident of the fast wit. Okay. Your arrows deal magic damage, slowness, three sockets, more, a hell of a lot more damage, I think, than normal, and more reach. Okay. Damn good. Oh, I'm a bit confused. Hmm? On arrow hit. Yeah, you can throw it in tridents. Let me just it, show. Yeah, I, I know you can throw tridents. I know that. Yes, I... Did not expect it to count as a, a arrow when you threw it. There's so, probably more generic talk for 
just projectiles in general. Yeah, well, fun fact. They, they actually exist, they're throwing arrows, and they're actually more common than people think. Okay. And yeah, they look like... Yeah, they basically look like yellow spears with the... Well, yeah, with the fletching in the back, you know, with the feathers. Okay. So basically... Mm. I guess you could say they were a Im improvement on throwing javelin. Okay, just a, just a big fuck off arrow to throw. That's actually what we did, we basically were. And apparently, more combat. It's one of those apparently a combat weapon that apparently doesn't get enough uh, love in mainstream media. Apparently, people probably think it's too weird to take seriously. While it Would actually were used surprised. quite often. <laughs> yeah. People probably still surprised that the. Yeah, slingshots were used for quite a while. Even in medieval times. Effectiveness. Looks like we found ourselves a bit of a prison here. Okay. And lanterns. Hmm. I don't have much use for lanterns, so let's just keep on going. Uh, let's see. Voice chat. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I will get the napkins. It's there. fine on all. Let's see. What exactly is this all useful for? Respawn anchors? Wait, those respawn anchors? Okay, I thought crying obsidian was from mods and such, but no, it's actually an innate uh, thing in Minecraft now. Oh, yeah, okay. it, it has been for. Oh, bloody, how long has it been now? It's been here for at least two, three years. Okay. Oop. So when you play modern so often, I guess it's hard to know what's modern and not modern. Yeah. Okay, put all of that away. We'll have to start putting stuff into the other bag soon enough. Okay. Hmm. I'll always take gold, even though I have a lot of grit already. I probably should set up some stuff for automation, just to get more, you know, have more, more of the metals than I would probably ever need. If I just had an idea what you need to serpent. build. Hmm? You need a treasure room. Probably, yeah. I was thinking about building an arena at the underneath the tower. Oh, hello. Three sockets. When attack gains speed two, fall damage is reduced. Not useful for us. Okay, okay I'm keeping that definitely. Uh, well, the heck, stuff. you're making your own dungeon. Oh. Dark fear is. Flash freeze. In cases your enemies or friends in a tomb of ice, guaranteed to leave them shocked and confused. Oh, because there it has a thunder strike at the back. It has lightning strike at the back there. Okay, I'll take these because Tatum will probably want those. Mana regen uh, potion. Captain, mm -hmm. I wanted to answer me honestly. Will you use that spell on the, the others? Maybe. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. If I can find the other Wither Skeleton Skulls I had collected, we can set up another fight with the Wither. Let's... I'll take that. And the heck is that? Is pork chop or something? Do like bread. Hmm. And here we have a broken portal room. Okay, take these. We can fix that. Gem of the Warlord. Okay. I just realized. Imagine you find one of these, you repair it, activate it, and it suddenly appears in someone's living room. <laughs> That would be hilarious, yeah. Okay, but I, but I think I've traveled far enough for the nether travel mechanics to have put me far away from anyone else. 
Captain. Captain. Captain, you know that because I said that there's an increased chance for it to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and I have grown to just accept that. Sometimes I, I, I make a yoke and the yoke somehow became true. Do we even In have a very awkward or hilarious this? manner. Hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, we could actually make a portal here. Let me just grab something to fill it in with. Or fill the area around in. And let's see. That there. These here. One, two, three. Why are you making it like that? You have a obsidian down there. Yep. Because I, <laughs> because I did the stupid, that's why. Uh, break that. Break that. Uh, probably best that I put this away for a second so I don't accidentally break stuff again. Two, three. Okay. There and there. One, two. Now I do have flint and... Yep, I have flint and steel with me. For stuff like this. Okay, let's see where the hell this puts us then. Oop. On the ground for one. Sea bunny? What? Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it put us... Uh... <laughs> Under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> okay, where the heck is again. it? Okay, this is north. Uh, yes. Just, how did we end up north of the tower? Oh, hell, that looks like okay. some place. Okay, so we didn't go too far from the base, actually. Actually, let's see. Can we even see it? Three kilometers away from there and three and a half kilometers away from the tower. Let's actually see what's above here. That means there has been a chance this time you could have accidentally open up a portal into someone's base. Yeah, there's no or one your own. north of uh, my place, so don't think that really was that much of a chance. Oh, and that's ocean water. Uh oh. Wait, would that mean that we uh, be ocean water and pouring out through the portal now? Maybe. Let's see, is there actually much around here? There's a swamp. Okay. Let's go see if we can find Shaskor in here. <laughs> oh, is there swamp? Uh, not their swamp specifically. Oh, one of these again. Potus. This is not weird as uh, birds. Oh yeah, they are actually real birds. They are uh, in a constant... Uh, how could how to say this? Um, they seen some effect. shit face. <laughs> Wait, what? It's staring contest. Uh, where is the hole I made? That's a dolphin. Okay, I probably should have put a, a marker over that. Uh, at least this will help see it. Uh, yeah, it's a crab, not a spider. There. Ah, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Might need to do something about all the water, though. But... Should still be able to go through with no ill effects on the other sides. Uh, put that there. Oh, right, I don't have the I don't have the water breathing suit on. Okay. Well, that's one emergency exit if need if need be. Uh, 
Just put anything that can be put in there, and the rest can go into one of these. Those can be just dumped or dumped out. Okay, um, that's the way back up, I think. Have we been? What is this then? Yeah, pork chop. I had that right. Okay. All right, here's your golden nugget. <laughs> um, didn't run. Yeah, yeah. They probably didn't, they did not get a chance to register you run up to the, run up to them at all. Firebolt. Okay. Nuggets. Wait. There. Wait. Have you used a firebolt before? Don't think so. I think peeking at now it was Tatum who's been throwing around the fire magic the most. I thought I had lightning, but all right. So you finally have a fireball spell. It's almost mandatory for a mage. I think I have a few more. Yeah, I think I have a few actual fireball spells. Uh, back at what base. Name is that? Ear dark, the scary. <laughs> okay, that does not sound scary in the slightest. Let's see if I can get three. Where? Oh, never mind. There's number three. Okay, I was about to say if I get three widow skeleton skulls, we can uh, go fight the wither back at base. Okay, put all of that that can be put away. Actually, can I just... Okay, yeah, I can just right-click with the backpack to put stuff in it as well. Yep. Do you mind personal space? Okay. Yep. Just slap the pants off of that one. Where was my entry point in this area again? Was it... Killed a one of these, with or... a skeleton and stole the pants. Yep, and it was actually through the front door here. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything on top of here? Doesn't look like it. Yep. Um. Let me actually take a look. Where is that? There's that spell book. I kind of want to see what this does. So, switch to something that isn't a usable. Uh, wasn't that supposed to freeze them? <laughs> Not just lightning strike Wait, you didn't the hit hell anyone. immediately. You hit the floor. Yeah, but even then, it's supposed to have an effect. Let's see. What is that? Oh, oh we have a volunteer. The, um... Okay, it just immediately goes to that. Okay. I cast fuck you and everyone around you. Oop. Okay. I should not have stood that close. That could have ended very poorly on my end. Okay, at least well, there's plenty of food in there. You can definitely shoot, uh, use this spell to show off to others. Yeah. Okay, it is another case of one a spell that destroys everything that gets dropped, though. Because of the sheer amount of overkill. Didn't I just see a skeleton here? There. Okay. Are those bricks with skulls? Okay, an enchanted bow. And... Yeah, that's, that is just a skull pattern in them, yeah? Let me try something. Or, oh, wait, no. Uh, where... Where did I... That's the step height. Can I just walk up? No, you can't just walk up on those. Okay. For more, I thought that might be useful for a... a a more com the a more compact design of spiral staircase, but no. 
Okay, let's continue on exploring. Oh, hello. Cone of Cold, level eight. Okay. Ooh. I haven't seen you use that. Uh, let's put that one back in there. Sort everything. Nothing else fits in there. Okay. So just put all of these. I will have to throw out a bunch of stuff once we're done down here. But there's a few more nightmares. Hmm. I should put a request in with Tatum to uh, see if she can tame one of those with the purple flames. Why not a, yep. a nether bat? Speaking of, oh, yeah, I can already nice. fly on myself or by myself. It looks hungry. Uh, no, you're not allowed to catch it. No, I'm, I'm looking around for the uh, for the spy yeah, yeah, spy spy glass that I had, so I can give a closer picture for Tatum. Where did I put that thing? Is it in there? Doesn't oh, look like it. Misplace the spyglass. Ah. Either way, I'll just take a screenshot. Yep. 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 Not the button I was hoping to hit there. Okay. Watch for the screenshots. Oh dear. Oh, well. oh dear. Oh dear. I'll just have to deal with a. Uh, just a description. Okay. You can always uh, tell uh, them to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't subject them to the entire length of this. But I'm pretty sure they already know about those. Okay, did I already grab that spawner, or was that one just, just incomplete? I think you grabbed it. Okay. Either way... Uh, let's see, all of this is Soul Sand Valley. We want somewhere that is mostly <clears throat> netherrack, so we can actually try and find this blasted metal for occultism. Though it looks like that's going to be unlikely. Hmm. Nope. Nope. You are not driving me batty. Nope. There's something else. Yeah, that's another bat. Do you mind? Are you sure you don't want a bat for the nether? <laughs> Again, I already have flights of my own, so no need for it. No, I'm thinking about possibly changing the origin, and thus le yeah, leaving behind the slow falling. That is possible with the mod. I'm not sure if it's allowed, though. It can be done with something called an origin orb, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there. Orb of origin. Using one of those, you can change your origin to something else. And yeah, now that I'm pretty set in with stuff, like, well, my enchanter's mirror... I think I think uh, it would be nice to try out something else as well. All right. Also, it would also it would allow me to eat this damn food and not just all put it to waste. Yeah. Still nothing on this divination rod. So what, what would you try to be? I need to read out what the what's all available and such. I will imagine an elf would be good for spell casting. Oh oh hell wait have I have I been doing it wrong by ju by just clicking it? Okay, that would be embarrassing. 
yes, I need I need to hold it down for it to Okay. Well lesson learned then. Okay. And yep, yeah, there's the damn stuff. It shows up as Natarak, but it with uh, occultism Wait. instead. And if yeah, I for take, now. if I take this off, it just looks like normal stuff only with the name different again. So Let's put this back on. Make sure it doesn't fall into the lava. Yep. Or has a block under it. And now it has plenty around it, just to be absolutely certain. Okay. Now for this, we need this, an infused pickaxe. These are very fragile, as you can see. Only 60 uses. But that's why I enchanted it with unbreaking. The fortune and efficiency were just... Lucky extras. Uh oh. They're the fortune, especially so. I guess I hear the ghast. And only one. And you almost look through, so you could almost fall down. Okay. Oh dear. Put that back away so we don't accidentally lose it. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I have been being dumb with this. Hmm. Okay, the best I can think of then is to head back towards the portal. And, yeah, look for Ismium ore that's closer by. Okay. Zoop. And, yeah, this, this thing is just way too freaking useful for this. Oh, I recognize that hole. Okay. Thought I saw something here for a second. Hmm. Anyways. Let's take another look with this thing. Okay. Something is reasonably nearby. Is it? Wait. Is that the same one as before? Or is that being marked as absent now? No, that that's a new one. Also, that's a new of you. Okay. Uh, let's mark it again. Okay. And yes, I know it's dangerous digging downwards, especially in the freaking nether. Oh, I forgot about that part. Okay, I can just we right click to double check where it is. Okay. There. Okay. Uh, let's put this in the filter as well to get rid of it. Any of this that can be dumped in there. Okay. Now, um, back to the pickaxe. And again, just a single one. Okay, it might, it might be that you can only get single ones out of these each time. Oop. And there's another one. Okay, so these are... These are not nearly as rare as I thought they were. There's a lot of work to get to. Yeah. There we go. And yeah, either I'm just getting unlucky with the fortune. Okay. Yep. Right, hold um, it down. So we have a new spot. Ooh. Okay, these are a lot more common than I thought they were. That will be a toss one. Yeah, that, that one. That's the one I just dug out. Okay. I've been getting lucky with the unbreaking so far, though, since that does seem to have used up any of its uses yet. Let's see. There's some that way. So that way we dig. I can already see the orders uh, just accidentally find these tunnels and wonder what the heck has happened here. Uh, I could say a dune worm caused it. 
Let's see. One, two, three. A dune worm? Yeah. Jennifer the Feeble? Oh, there's multiple here. Where is this? Up there, okay. Let's try and go for that one, since it's a purple one. First... Also, let me just put away the break spell on that. There. And there. Still only z one, so it might just be that they cannot be fortuned at all. Maybe. Okay, let's have a look at you. Oh. Widow skeleton, so not even I don't even need to be careful. I do need to be careful about that damage though, and these idiots. Okay, oh, careful of my health. Uh heal spell, yes. Okay. Still don't know if these have any use at all or such. They, well, they can probably be used as catapults if you manage to tame them, but... Still, there's weird-ass things. Yeah, I recall the lore of them a bit. Uh, for the, they had a bit lore from the mother from them. For they are slinging their offsprings. Yep. Yep. And of course, when they become uh, parents themselves one day, they will, uh, they will take out the, their uh, trauma on their own children by slinging them. And this, okay. yeah, yeah, the, psycho the psycho repeats. Get rid of these. Basically, bad parenting. Yeah, bear <laughs> terrible parents, the cycle. Okay, give me that. Let's see, two sockets, bunch of mat uh, iron stuff, blast protection five, mana boost three, and thorns one. Okay. That explains the damage we've been taking. And it's a dwarven one, even. Then... Mm -hmm. Deal with these little bastards. Okay, I thought it, I thought there was an extra one, but that's one of their heads. <laughs> Store that away. What's that? Strata lights. Okay. I'm guessing I might be able to make a saddle or something, or you would normally be able to make a saddle since that's uh, Professor Maria. What? That since that's uh, Tatum stick and such. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely need a much more of a combat sword for just dealing with an area of enemies. Anyways, um, where is there? They are. Oh, they're great. Oh, I see. They're in the caverns underneath. Okay, this means we need to dig towards them. Yeah, uh, notice the shape. Yeah, it's uh one of the hogs. Right, the hog is named Professor Maria. Yep, it's a pretty smart piggy. <laughs> I yeah, might want to block this off. In the orange juice. Spicy orange juice. Yeah, I might be immune to its damage, but it still makes it annoying to swim through. Oop. As I just dig into more of it. Okay, one thing to keep in mind with these things is that they deal a lot of damage. So I'll probably have to be a bit sneaky about it. Hello! Oh! oh. <clears throat> Freaking jump scare. He jump scared me as well. Uh, 
There we go. Probably would have probably would have been a bit better if I'd remember if I'd let my mana charge up to uh, get the extra. Actually, no. Uh, yep. Still, the luck would have had an effect, maybe. Oh well. Get rid of you. You fall you down the hole, apparently. Okay. Store all of this away somewhere. Uh, ah, there it is. For a moment I thought I lost... Nope, I do not want to put that in there. Uh, oh, there's the spyglass. Also the infused pickaxe, and that I'm taking out as well. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The, the pig must have been fighting something else down here. Concerning? Uh, oh, <laughs> that's freaking close by. Oh, we are lucky. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to put this thing into the bar here. There. Okay. Why let the... Let's... That's a suspicious name. Okay. Next one is a bit further away, according to this. So... Oh, hello. Wait, did I tunnel this before, or...? Oh, hmm. sure. If, if I... Okay, this sort of looks like somewhere I would have dug, but... Huh. No... I probably would have grabbed those as well. Um, hmm. Someone Ma maybe else? Sensei has been here. I gave Sensei a, a a wand that should be able to dig around. I think I'm drawing a bit of a blank with my poor memory. Let's see. Oh, there's some, and I've lost sight of the boss. Oh well. There. Oh, careful not to hit that with the dig spell, because that'll probably not get me the material. How much do you need? Probably more than I have right now. Uh, let, let's see what we can actually all make with this. Outside of just decorations. Let's see. Empty magic lamps. Isnium pickaxe. Okay. So for that, it's only really the pickaxe that we can make. And a magic lamp. Crusher dust. Hmm. Ah. Fast crusher. I, I guess you need the magic lamp for the uh, gins. Yep. Or let. Oh, for the miners. Okay. For the mining spirits. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. We I have likely been here before because this is the very <laughs> this is the fortress that we started with. Um, just punch a hole in the wall then. Yep. This is the the this is the lower levels of that place. I should probably just grab some of this as well while I'm here. If I have, if I make the space for it, well, you, well, uh, you can make glowstones with this mod. Hmm. Now you can, I know you can make glowstone dust with create, with a bit of potion work. Uh, there probably are other ways to make it as well. Uh, what we go over? You can make uh, lanterns or something with it. Oh, with it, not to make the dust itself. Okay. Also, uh, probably not a good idea to try and swim out of here through that. Yeah, uh, don't swim into Russia. Now it, yeah, there we go. <laughs> For a second, I thought I was swimming into a wall or something. Yeah, and I just realized, imagine someone being dumb enough to swim into Russia. 
Well, as long as you don't have any open wounds or such, I think you should be safe. As long as it doesn't get anything. Then you do want so them in your nostrils tough. or eyes. Yeah. Remember, it's extremely spicy. Hmm. I think I'm going to make another mirror, but not for transport, not for flying around this time, but for healing. Uh, there it is. Uh, no, do not pick that one up. Oh, it's already full with stuff. Um, I like that the with a yellow plus, it shows that it had this room left in it. And I believe if you if it, yeah if it is something with a green plus, it means that it's already has that in there. So we could just pick that up in there. Okay. Ronda has awoken nearby. Uh, Jennifer's Dwarven Diamond Hoburg. Fire damage reduced by 13%. A bit useless on us. Okay. Yeah, that's the one I saw er that, that we got earlier. Yeah, just a normal shield. Yeah. There, there, and there. And there. Okay. Put that away as well. That Zoglin had. Okay. Um, uh, one more thing, mostly there, so we get rid of all of the pink eye. Now let's find our way out of this place. This leads to the portal room. Another portal room. Okay, this one's I wonder where way it leads. Okay, this one is a lot closer to where we start, though. With the portal being right over there, so it wouldn't be that much further. Plus, I don't think we have enough obsidian here for a full portal. Ah, uh, alright. Two... Is there anything... Hmm... Let's see, is there any material underneath this lava? Is there, if there's more obsidian underneath it, then we might be able to make a portal. There's a bit. Okay. Also something I should do. Wait, pickup is already on there. Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't pick up something earlier. Oh so, well. Why did I just make me imagine you summing up in a pickup truck? Yeah, there is more here. Okay, so with these, the side bits will have lower... <clears throat> will also have obsidian underneath them, so there is enough material for making a portal. Did you even use some of the uh, Magrobar blocks uh, on this uh, corner as decorations? <laughs> okay. Two, three... Okay. Uh, where did those go? Uh, Netherrack can join the rest in there. Okay. Oh, it's already full, or not. Okay, get in there. Okay. One, two, and there. Then we grab this again. And let's see where we end up this time. Probably on the ground, because we are quite a bit lower than the other. Okay, color me surprised in not being... Okay, <laughs> there is the other portal. <laughs> it, it, I almost get pushed back in by the freaking cows. Or a hippo. Okay. Uh, move uh, away! Uh, hello. 
Yeah, wait, is there a screenshot that? Is that a milker uh, cow? Is... Are you allowed to... Okay, I, I'm pretty damn sure this cow is a reference to, like, the Milka Chocolate Company with the colors. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, gra I'm grabbing it just because it's probably freaking rare. Yeah. Well, that's not you're allowed to. Well, it did say Minecraft. Did it didn't say any... It was a part of a mod or anything. Yeah, I'll have to ask the others about that. For now... Let me just plug this up. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll just give that to Tatum and such, see what they do with it and so. Ooh. Since I already have all the cows I really need. I can imagine them uh, screaming in the light for having a sparkly cow. Okay. Now, up we go. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. Anything of interest nearby here? Just a bunch of gazelles. Or, yep, gazelles. Yep, some broken bridges. Uh, very close near each other. Uh, okay. Whoever built that was indecisive about what they wanted. And we, here we have some lions. And whatever this is. Salamander. Is Giant salamander, okay. For a moment I thought it was an odd looking gecko, not accurate, a gecko otter. Yes. Is there anything? <laughs> or in kangaroos? Yeah, you can give those armor and weapons. Oh, hello. This is something of interest to me. Oop. Loading in lag. Okay. Uh, let me store stuff away for a sec. I, I was honestly expecting to get chocolate milk from that cow. You were hoping, weren't you? Maybe. Okay. All of these... Hmm. Okay. Let's disarm the trap as usual. And let's see. Emeralds. Nope, oh, loyal. Okay, loyalty would be nice on that trident we'd found earlier. What loyalty does is that it causes a thrown trident to return to you. And I I think the only thing that uh, upgrading it does, or the higher ranks of it does, is how quickly or fast it returns or something. I'm unsure. Ooh, hello. The heck is... Hello. Tinker's Workshop. Okay. Oh, I think someone want to find this. Yeah, and yeah, there's the... a Komodo dragon in there. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think quickly. someone would have wanted to use this as a base. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> okay, apparently that was an achievement with a guild token assigned to it. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, but for now... Yeah, that one is full. Actually, does it show if, if more visitors? Uh, I think you're the visitor. There. Hmm. Oh, I, I think no. There's a... Okay, so if you have some... If you pick up something that is in a bag, it'll give a... A yellow plus if you have a bag and something that is already in it has a, a copy in your inventory it'll show up as a green minus okay 
there. Okay. Now, let's have a look around here. Yeah, try not to break anything. Uh, let's see, that's just a mechanical press. Bunch of metal. Okay, a bunch of equipment pieces, or not re stuff on the walls. Oh, hello. A key. Okay. I have a spot for it, so I'll take it. Uh, crafting and blueprints, candy? I have a few of those already. Bunch of bricks. And, yeah. <laughs> candy. Okay, I'll take it. Let's see, just a light snack, of course. So that goes in with the food. I should probably make just a dedicated food backpack as well. But I will. I feel like we should use that nice. candy for someone. <laughs> we could give it to Tatum. Keep them sweet for a while. Now I just imagine you being mean and making a candy trap. Are you sorry, a trail of candy leading to a trap? <laughs> well, now you've given me an idea. Why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. I've seen yeah, I've seen these before. Let's see. Can I pick them up? Yes, I can. Okay. And hmm. If I try to put that back down, does it become no? Okay. Rapid press. Oh, okay. So we could just make a sort of loot box with these things and it'll just eject these. What if... Uh, which one has them? Let me see. I'm looking for which backpack has the, uh, the fire charges. Uh-oh. You, yeah, you, you know we will shoot them? Yes. Ah, <laughs> I thought it was going to work like a dispenser or such. Oh well. More Where am I here. supposed to bring you? Uh, you're not gonna bring you bring it? Nah, I don't see too much use for it. Uh, let's see. Cuckoo clock, normal clock, and bellows. Okay. Okay, is it just blowing out air? Is something powering these, or is it just a clock? Uh, it's a clock, Captain. Either way, these will make for decent decorations. Also, the light spell almost ran out. Let me see. Anything that's enchanted on those? Not that I can see. Goblets. So you go rob this place, then tell... Uh... Sensei. Uh, sensei about it. The movie realized it has been looted clean. Yeah, not, I'm not, yeah, not looting everything. Just anything that is of some use to me. Okay, Naughty pirates. There? <laughs> hmm. Wait, there's, there's an actual handle on this. Put that away for a sec. So we gonna lift up the, the thing or free it? This lifts it up, or does it lift up the entire thing or just the upper part? Yep. Okay, it lifts the entire thing, but the Komodo glitched through it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, that, that can not be a nice elevator, but still, you have technically released a hungry beast. That could make for a nice little uh, mining elevator, or it might need to be sped up and automated some. Okay. Uh-oh. 
nothing there. No shit at the Sensei when he's on. Uh, that's the camp I saw earlier. Uh, that's something. And, that's a bridge. And there's a few island. bridges around here. Uh, the, the one close to us, right there. Yeah. I don't think uh, there's anything special with any of these bridges. We're definitely not finding trolls underneath them, that's for sure. Careful what that. you say, Captain. Careful what you say. Okay. Let's see. Some reds. A gem. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's a big magic forest next to here. Let's take a quick look around. And then we'll head back either to the nether or just back to the tower. This is a big one. Hmm. It's quite a big magic forest. That's the end there. Oh, hello. Yeah, dead end already. And the tower. <laughs> the tower that's almost floating. Um. Uh... <laughs> Opportunist. I'm gonna suspect there was a magical accident here. Yep. One of the little bastards. Come on. Let me in. Yeah, screw it. I'll let myself in. Okay, this is weird. Usually you break out through the window, not break in through the window. Okay, uh, those are in there, those are in there. Brad could have just as easily gone into the food bag, but oh well. Captain, you went mute. Hmm? Just one, oh. two, I see the mute. That must have been on your end, then. Yeah, if I saw you mouth move, I heard nothing. Until I Jesus. told you about it. Okay. Unless you were just shooting on something? Nope. That's the hole I just explored. Let's see. Still more this way. So, yeah, this is big. Well, if, I ever, if I'm ever short on archwood, I know where to go get it. There's even a broken portal here. With a box. Let's see. Shockwave. Horus, one of you idiots. Get back here. Was that armor? Yeah, that was a uh, Star Worm armor here. Alright. Life mending, <clears throat> don't want that. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. Bye bye. Yeah, they were flying in for morning. All right, where is that bloody captain? And uh, you just fly past them. Hey, great. Uh, ain't that the guy we supposed to hunt? Oh, good luck <laughs> catching up. <laughs> Elephants. Victoria the Funky? Okay, going to put down a quick one here. Just so I know where this one is. Probably should have done the same with that other portal, but oh well. Okay. Uh, let's see. Six kilometers there. It's just all the way across the map. Okay. Nose itching. More like one of my, yeah, one of my nose hairs or mustache has freaking something else there. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to trim those. Uh, let's see. Do we go? Let me actually check the book. See if there's any other materials maybe to get the. 
Dimensional Mineshaft, Magic Lamps, Isnium Pickaxe. Tier 2 Other World Materials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very durable and can be used for a long time. Is there anything else then? Found another. Yeah, only a little bit with that. Hmm. Are there other tier 2 materials then? Uh, let's see. Magic lamps can be used to keep spirits safe from essence decay. Okay. So these would be really useful then for just permanently keeping uh, spirits around. All right. It like free void miner. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, spirit miners by summoning a spirit into a magic lamp and placing it in a dimensional man shaft. It can be made to mine for you in a mining dimension. This is a great way to get resources without having to go mining in the overworld or other dimensions yourself. Okay. And we can get all the way up to Master Miner Merit. Okay, the most powerful miner spirit. It has the fast and spe mining speed and best uh, magic lamp preservation. Unlike other mining spirits, they also can mine the rarest ores such as ancient debris and ismium. Okay. But they need a nether star and dragon's breath. Dragon's breath we won't have access to for wait, quite a wait, bit. Wait, since you need my breath. No, dragon, not bearded dragon. Oh. Okay. Wait, let's head back. That was actually quite a distance for. Actually, no, but that's because the this portal is already quite a distance away from the tower. Okay. Now, let's light you the place up and see burnt. if we can find the exit. Yep. There's the exit. <laughs> that was easy. Okay. Whilst we are here... Any other of the ore nearby? Ah, there. Okay. Let me just... Uh, punch a hole in the wall. Oh, need to have the these on so I can actually identify it. There we go. Okay. That should probably be enough for a while. Hopefully. Hmm. Okay, let me just look through what else it can be made in. Da -da -da. Next, no. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, different pressure spirits have different efficiencies. Let's see. Uh, foliot crusher. That just turns it into... One, I believe, or two. Hmm. Odd, it says the same for each of them, but I'm pretty sure you can, they can even crush diamonds. Okay. The different spirits, or different levels of that, should have higher uh, production on each. Uh, let me see. Still need to look at these familiars, because that just, that just sounds... Let... I just need to get one of these. Play me port, huh? <laughs> mm hmm Like, where's a chicken? <laughs> okay. Hmm. I could go look for them in the jungle biomes themselves. And I think that would, uh, wouldn't fall under Tatum's uh, <clears throat> jurisdiction because they're base uh, game... Uh, yeah, they're base game uh, uh, creatures. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, let's see. And yeah, possession rituals controlled by spirits allowing the summoner to determine some of their properties. High drop rates. So, oh, you probably want to start by summoning a possessed endermite to get endstone to graft and craft advanced chalks. Okay, yeah, that that's going to get useful because some of these chalks, uh, yeah, there's normal stuff like gold dust, glowstone dust. But this one needs crushed endstone. Okay. 
But yeah, because I can because I can summon those possessed Endermites, I can get ac early access to that. And yeah, Frit Essence is needed for the Red Sharks. So gain the essence of an Afrit for Red Shark. You need to summon and kill an unbound Afrit. Let's see. <laughs> the Afrit needs to be summoned unbound into this plane and killed. Be warned that this is no simple endeavor and unbound spirits represent great danger to all nearby. Okay. So I'd need to set up a boss arena for these. Nope. Ghasts. Let's see. But yeah, I think I have enough of the metal for now. I can always get more later. Um, so what else to really do? Maybe I can dig a new area for the ritual site. Or I can go uh, kill a bishop. Where are they? And he's the figure of a Monty Python sketch. A bishop! Uh, some theme song. Or a theme melody, or whatever you would call it. Okay, I see on the map that there's this one here. This one's been here for quite a while, so some of these can take really long to despawn. Okay, but this will piss off the piggies. But I want whatever he has, because it's very clearly going to be iron. Not diamonds, not iron. He dropped two things. Okay. Let's see. The shield with just shield bash 2. And let's see. When attack gain resistance, do sockets protection 4 and unbreaking 3. And featherweight. I still don't fully know what featherweight does. I'm presuming it's just innate uh, slow fall or something. I think so. It is usually it. And they got withered from the clouds. Okay. Uh, while I'm here, actually, let me just grab a stack of these. Uh, let me actually put it back for a sec and just get stuff in there. I want to seal off that... Uh, I want to seal off the blaze spawner over here. Which I'd already tried before, but, well, gotten interrupted. Thank you. Need to put that away. Come on. There's not real there's not really much of a need for this since I already have multiple blaze spawners that I can put my yeah, put down myself. But this is more for if others want to go kill blaze or need to go kill blazes for some reason or another. Okay. Some of this away. No, that one's full. Right. Uh, let's see. Let's start just from here. Okay, let's not use that thing since it's low in usage. Close off every little escape route that they could have. And just put a ceiling on it. my teeth but okay. I have my headphones on so I can still hear I mean it's not bad to see but just yeah I'm gonna be on the other side of the room okay so just finish this up quickly 
Yeah, we, we gotta agree. Electric toothbrush near a PC monitor is likely a bad idea. Yeah. Or, well, just having your brush anywhere out. It, yep. Having an, your brush be in many places would be a bad idea. Uh, just grab all of yeah. those and That's... get out. Been, the clean your mirror from the that is one thing, but that's probably normal, but for a PC monitor. Uh, I'm not be surprised if Toothpaste can do some horrible damage. Mm. There, no way, well, one way out for them. Uh, let's see, is there any, just to check if there's any of this nearby. No. Okay. I should probably redecorate this area a bit because it is rather cramped with this portal here. But oh well. <clears throat> okay. Back through here. And back to the tower. Okay. Now then, uh, let's get to work uh, first off taking these off again. Um, yeah. One of the star bungles will pick it up as I speak. Uh, let's see then. This one's empty. So let's put some stuff away. Or at least put it away for sorting. Yep, not that. Okay. And let's see then. What do I need for the better crushers? Let's see. Jin is four of those. Okay. Affix is calling. Avier circle. Okay, they need different ones each. Uh, let's see. A brass is conjured. That needs red. Okay, so we can't get that yet because we need to kill an Efrit for that. So, oops, wrong place. Um, where was that one again? Uh, wait, what? Spirits, magic storage, rituals. Summoning. Okay, I just click past it each time. Uh, let's see. Ophix is calling. It's purple. A purple chalk, but that is much, very much doable. Okay. Um, I should probably punch a hole through this here as well to make it easier to get in and out of here. So, let's see. Hmm. there. Okay, I need to repair these two as well because I accidentally broke the portals. Mm. Okay. Um, I can probably make this a lot smaller. I pretty much over <laughs> overestimated how much space these things would take up. I mostly went with 15 because the biggest ritual takes up 15 by 15 area, but I can probably try to think up a way to put them a lot more compact. Okay, maybe I can turn this into an arena then. Hmm. And yeah, that could work. I could put up some rails on the sides or, or some platforms on the sides. Hmm. Could turn this into a boss arena. And in the middle, I could have. Something that would split the lava around in case it's to avoid <laughs> dumb damage. Hmm. And then there's the... Actually, would that... Hmm. This, I, this wouldn't work for withers or... Uh, actually... I think... Uh, I'd need to check in with the others to see if any mob can destroy blocks or such. Because if they can, then, well, 
this would be the train station area right underneath and well it would be a bit of a <laughs> it would be a bit interesting if this just suddenly a Weldon chimera breaks into the train station <laughs> so maybe I will maybe I will just put all the ritual sites in here maybe I'll turn it into an arena and I'll just have to well find how to well put these together without them interfering with each other or I just dig down a dig out an area lower for that for now just head back up again put that shield away as well hmm yeah, I'm back. Uh, I just noticed that the uh, the mic could pick me up shortly from the other side of the room. Yep. Okay. Get the star bunkers to work on that. Uh, let's see. Neither of these is enchanted, so I could make them even stronger still. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, I have some ideas by brushing my teeth. Oh. You could attach side tower to the main tower. True. Your lambda. Yep, over there. Okay. No, it's a pillager. Or pillager, but whatever. Okay. One of this. Well, that has a pickaxe to... Uh, I don't know what that is. It's going. A, a wooden pickaxe with fortune and mending. <laughs> okay. But it said it was a matok, so I guess it's a way bat the battle variant of the pickaxe? No, only in name. Sev unblock break gain speed for 17 seconds. Okay, that's quite a bit. But the strongest on this is, of course, the fact that it has fortune and mending. Uh, the, the problem is, of course, that, well, it's a wooden pickaxe, so for, you're not going to be able to mine much that the fortune would affect. That only affects uh, ore stones and such. Yeah. Hmm. I saw something move. You know, this one. Ah! Okay. Um, hmm. We've almost hit two and a half hours with this, so shall we call it here for now? I am okay with... I just looked at the minimap. Bloody right. heck, that looks... Okay, that looks Wait. certainly as like something. What it looks like... It looks a bit like a, a weird watch. Yeah, it looks good, but on the minimap it looks better, just... It looks Maybe like it's something that's supposed the, uh... to be there. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm okay with it calling it uh, early. Okay. I'll get For... to uh, reworking the ritual site or just relocating it entirely. Um, oh dear. Maybe I'll, have, maybe I'll set something up to have these spin if possible. Just for the freaking decoration of it. Uh, not too sure what else I could really upgrade here, other than... Oh, hello, that's a powerful one. Yeah, it's only for irons. Hmm. Still, I'll put it in here. I could I could maybe assign the starbuncles, or just a specific one to fill these in as well. Uh, that would certainly get rid of some stuff, but for a lot of this, I probably will just need to break a bunch of things. Yeah, or it... maybe have them send stuff over here. I don't know how far Star Bunkers will actually go to do stuff. I should test yeah. that maybe. Yeah, but something I feel like you should do. You should definitely do, start doing an area that's your, basically where you live, like a, a, a living quarter. Okay. For yeah. I imagine that a lot of your decorations will be in the living quarter. Yeah, because this is a bit of a shabby bed at the moment, huh? Yeah, the, the bed looks fine, just... You put your bed in the storage room and the Bait. workshop. 
I could do like the first level here or something. Just have uh, that be the personal quarters. Avian. Uh, yeah, this but if. Be too uh, low. Hmm. Yeah, I, I could make a side tower for that perhaps then, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that so if I do change the if I do change the origin, then the height stuff won't be important anymore. True, hmm. but it will, the side towers will give it a bit of an extra look and not like a visitor tower of a uh, Scrooge McDuck's vault. <laughs> okay. The music in the game has been oddly quiet this time. Like I don't think it's played up much. Hmm. Yeah, it played a little, but not much, and it wasn't really... Some of your muses can, but it's not like it can be rather overwhelming. But these yeah, films but... have been rather subtle. Or subtle, mm. I mean. Yeah. Or subtle? Subtle? <laughs> subtle. <laughs> subtle. <laughs> okay. But yeah, before we end the stream, of course, let's go look for someone to raid. And let's see. I have to expand it, so I'll have to narrow it down some. We have Azra Arcane, who is playing Diablo 4. Apparently a new season got released for that. Uh, Digital Hazard is playing Digimon World Redigitized Decode. Okay, say that five times fast. And nope. then we also have... Let's see... Hmm, can't really say others are... Got... There's Roka, who is playing Lollipop Chainsaw. I think that was going to get a remake sometime soon or such. Let me triple check that uh, everything is muted. Yes, it is. Is that old or new? Yeah, that one seems to have got a little bit of a uh, cold classic feel uh, to too many people. Hmm. Okay. Any of them sound of interest or shall I take a pick? Even though I, even I don't know who to really pick here. Uh, uh, a lot of chainsaw, I guess. Yeah, let me let me actually <laughs> let you see this as well, so we can actually see who are online. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seeing the VTuber <laughs> like that, yeah. Okay, we we have to rate them now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Copy oh the come name. on! Head to our place. <clears throat> And yeah, slash raid. But before we started, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you for the, you know, thank you for watching and for the follow Prime Antonio. And let's see, anyone I recognize who is lurking? Uh, Sensei's been lurking. Well, now he knows where the Tinker is as well. And yeah, thank you as always, look here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we get started with, uh, <clears throat> we continue with the Battle for Middle Earth and get started on the Evil campaign. From what I hear, it plays reasonably different, but it has been reworked last week or last Saturday, so it could have been changed further. We'll just have to see how much of an impact that's going to have. And yeah, then on the weekends we have Revengeance and maybe more Minecraft, maybe something else. We'll have to see. Hmm. Yeah, looking forward to, to all of it regardless. Okay. But uh, yeah, for now, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, sleep well, and watch out for the nether bats. <laughs> and nether seagulls. Oh, gods! Metro Seagulls. <laughs> I should do that.